Right, so he's had a good few hours to dry. In fact, he said overnight to dry. And it's now Monday. So um, I thought I'd crack on with the blocking. I'm going to get the 320 out and uh, let's see if we can get this block down. And I'm really hoping to get this painted today because I want to get it out of here and get back onto the van project. So let's uh, crack right on with it. So that's that block down. What I'm going to need to do now is I need to go over them all with 600. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get that wing fitted, make sure it all lines up nice, get it all tweaked, get the bonnet gapped up nice. And then that's it, the wing's on, done. Then we can just nib the wing down, we'll nib all this down, get it all masked up and paint it. So just crack right on and get the wing on. the old wing on, all bolted up now, gapped up really nice and the door to the wing repair actually looks spot on so uh, what am I going to do now? Well, I suppose I'll have to get the 600 now and uh, nip all this back with 600, start getting it ready to paint so let's continue. Right, so got all the prep work done, it's all cleaned down, I've scotched it, I've done everything I can do for it, I've blown out some of the crevices and cracks, got the heating on in the garage and uh, what I'm going to do now is nip indoors, have a cup of coffee quickly, let, let the uh, warm air in here dry out any little bits of water that might be stuck in there, behind the, more, more so behind this moulding to be honest. So. Uh, I don't need water to be drizzling out of there, so what I'm going to do is I'll have a cup of coffee, come back, we'll start masking up the moulding, get all the masking tape, throw a sheet over it and hopefully get it painted today. So uh, let's go and have a cup of coffee. Right, I've had my coffee. Very nice it was too. And uh, hopefully the heat has done its job now. Dried this out a little bit and uh, 
we can get some plastic sheeting on it. Let's get your mast up. So it's all it's all wrapped up now. All we've got to do is wipe it down with some panel wire, tack it off, mix some paint, and get into the painting process. So uh, might have a little bit of a sweep up here. It was a bit bit dusty, but I think we'd be alright. It's only a couple of small bits, and uh, we'll put a bit of water down when we paint it. So let's get on and uh, get this painted. Right, so I'm just about ready. Got my paint mixed up. Let's paint it. That's it for the base coat. We'll clear coat that in about half an hour. Right, so my base coat's gone off. Looks pretty good. It's gone down quite nice and even. And uh, got the clear coat in the gun now. Just gonna throw about three coats of clear, so let's crack on. Right, so that's it. Clear coat's done. Don't look too bad as it goes. Um, little flat and polish, and uh, that'll be game over. Right, so it's the next day here in the garage. So um, I've just actually started flattening it down. So um, I'm just going to continue with it, and uh, then I'm going to get it all flattened down, flat and polished get it unwrapped and get this car put back together hopefully today so uh, I'm not going to spend any time rambling today and I'm just going to crack right on with it so let's get on with it
even though I say so myself. Well, let's get that wing done. Right, so it's polished loosely. <laughs> I mean, it's, I'm not going to the town on it yet. What I'm going to do is build it back up. I need to clean it anyway, and then I'll probably just run around. It's a few lumps and bumps out. It's an old car, to be fair, but um, it's going to do some on a good turn. And um, yeah, I mean, 36,000 miles, it's going to be a good little car to smoke about in. So just going to get it built back up, get the door handle, mirror finish off the front end here and uh, give it the final clean up and uh, next time you see it I'll give it a full tour so see you then so I'd like to say it's finished but it's not quite there but um, it's all built up, other than this wheel trim. I've got to find out why the radio's not working, and it does need a code, but I can't get the power on it, so I'm sure I'll suss it out or just rip it out and get another one. What I'm going to do is I'll get it outside and give it a clean, then I'll give you a final walk round. Right, so here we go. Fiesta out the garage. Don't look too shabby. Pretty good actually. Still got a few dinks and marks around it, but you know, I mean, it's not a perfect car. The repair's nice. Uh, yeah, I think it'll do him. Do him a turn. It's cleaned up well in here. That's it, guys. That's all from me on this one. So, uh, if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and uh, if you haven't subscribed already you might want to think about subscribing to my channel but I'm going to crack back on with a van now well not today because it's absolutely tipping it down again no surprise there is it I think we're all getting used to this rain now and it being locked down is even worse but uh, anyway stay safe everyone and uh, I'll see you on the next video bye for now